Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. We are back again with another daily practice exercise video. So in the past few exercise videos, we have seen the importance of the note sa, which is really, really the foundation of your music. And then we saw how to sing that sa in uh, sa riga ma pada nisa in shankara Barnam ragam. And then we also saw how to sing that in akara. Sa riga ma pada nisa. We also saw that. And then we had a very fun video where we sang that in vowels. A E I O U. Right? I hope you all are having fun. The main thing about music is you should have fun. You shouldn't think that it is hard, it is difficult. You should just enjoy it and then you should just sing it, okay? So with that, let's go into our next uh, daily practice exercise. So before we get into our exercise, let's set up our Shruti box. So we'll be singing in the scale A. Let me set it up. Please do set yours as well. And today, what we are going to learn today? Today, we will be learning how to come up with patterns. So there are n number of patterns in Carnatic music or maybe even in Hindustani. But you don't have to have all your patterns complicated, right? You can have simple patterns, okay? Just by adding one note after the other, something like that. Or you can also have complicated patterns. But what is patterns? So patterns are nothing but a bunch of swaras. So we have Saregamapadhanisa. We have this seven swaras, right? So when I say patterns, it will have a combination of three swaras or four swaras, and that combination will keep changing. So those are patterns. These are really good exercises for your vocal cords because you will get a hold of uh, the notes. For example, it's like climbing a stairs. Right? So now it is like we have seven steps before us. We are slowly climbing it. Okay? So our first step is sa, second step is re, third step is ga and so on. Right? Now we are climbing it properly. Now what if I say you start with the first step, go to the third step, come back to the second step and then go to the third step again. You follow this pattern. What if I say you that? Okay. So let's try that. So our first step is sa, second step is re and third step is ga. Now I'm going to third step directly from first step. Sa, ga. Then I'm coming back to the second step. Re. Then again I go back to the third step. Ga. So this is one pattern. So how is it going to sound? Sa, ga, re, ga. This is a pattern. But this pattern should continue throughout your steps. Sa, ga, re, ga, re, ma, ga, ma, ga, pa, ma, pa. So it goes on. So these are patterns. Okay. But let's not go so complicated. Let's start off with simple patterns. Because as you start simple, you will definitely go and you will be able to come up with your own patterns. Okay. So when you formally learn Carnatic music, right? So there are exercises that teaches you such kind of patterns. It's called uh, Janta Varisai, where uh, the swaras gets doubled, tripled, like that. Sa 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 ri 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 ga 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 ma ma ma, like that. Sa 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 ri 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 ga 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 ma 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 ma, like this also it is there. And there are also Dhatu Varisai, which has some complicated uh, patterns. So. Carnatic music actually gives you a foundation of certain patterns, but it is all up to your imagination. You can come up with your own set of patterns. There is nothing wrong in music. Whatever you do is going to help your voice. Okay. So now let's try a very simple pattern. Okay. Now we are going to start from our first step, go to second step, come back to first step. The next is going to be, we are going to start in first step, go to second step, Go to third step, come back to second step, and come back to first step. So, how is it going to sound? Sa, this is our first step. Second step is re, 
This is our second step. Now we are coming back to our first step. Sa. So our pattern will be Sa Di Sa Sa Di Ga Di Sa. So we will keep adding one note to our series. Sa Di Sa Sa Di Ga Di Sa Sa Di Ga Ma Ga Di Sa Sa Di Ga Ma Pa Ma Ga Di Sa. Sa Di Ga Ma Pa Dha Pa Ma Ga Di Sa. Sa Di Ga Ma Pa Dha Ni Dha Pa Ma Ga Di Sa. Sa Di Ga Ma Pa Dha Ni Sa Ni Dha Pa Ma Ga Di Sa. Beautiful. So this is going to be our pattern. Now let's try and sing it again in in the same tempo. Sa di sa sa di ga di sa sa di ga ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha Sa di ga ma pa dha ni sa ni dha pa ma ga di sa. Beautiful. Now what we'll do is we'll increase the tempo as we always do. Sa di sa sa di ga di sa sa di ga ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha ni dha pa ma ga di sa. Sa di ga ma pa dha ni sa ni dha pa ma ga di sa. Beautiful. Now what we are doing is sa di sa sa di ga ma ga di sa. We are breaking there, right? Sa di sa. We are taking a rest, and then again we are starting sa di ga ma ga di sa. We are again taking rest. So we shouldn't try and take rest like this. Okay. Uh, let's try to sing it continuously without taking rests in between. Sa di sa sa di ga di sa sa di ga ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha ni dha pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha ni sa ni dha pa ma ga di sa. So when you try and sing fast, right? You might go off note while you are singing fast. If you go off note, it is okay. But you stop there, try and correct your note, and then we can come back. For example. Sa di sa sa di ga ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha ni dha pa ma ga. So I went off note, right? Sa di ga ma pa dha ni dha pa ma ga di sa. So you slow it down, correct your notes, and then you again start off with your fast speed. Sa di sa sa di ga ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha ni dha pa ma ga di sa sa di ga ma pa dha ni dha ni dha pa ma ga di sa. that's it so this is a very good exercise and you should also try out in akara we'll see this in akara in the next video and uh, till then keep practicing enjoy it and happy singing i'll see you in the next video bye